Today's topic is about apolipoprotein. Apolipoprotein means a protein part of the lipoprotein. So it is exclusively produced by the liver. So you have you already know that all protein are exclusively produced by the liver, but this apolipoprotein, which is found over this lipoprotein, is also sometimes produced by the other cell, especially intestinal cell, which is responsible for the formation of ApoA, that is capital A. Now the main function that is solubilizing of this lipoprotein as lipid is insoluble in water to solubilize this lipoprotein inside the plasma or blood for that apolipoprotein is needed apart from that they have some other function especially to activation of some particular enzymes now which are the important function and some special characteristic that we will look so first that apoa1 which is found over the hdl2 the main function of this apoa1 that is activation of LCAT lecithin cholesterol acyl transferase which transfer PUFA from the second carbon of lecithin to the cholesterol to make cholesterol ester which is indirectly helping to move cholesterol from peripheral tissue to the liver. Now there is a ligand for HDL receptor so this HDL receptor can bind over this APOA1 and this HDL can be taken up. It is purely anti-atherogenic in nature and it is exclusively produced by the intestine as well as in liver. Now one more that is APOA2 but it is found over the HDL3 and opposite to APOA1 it is inhibiting LCAT while stimulate the lipase enzyme. It is also produced by intestine and liver. Furthermore important apolipoprotein that is APOB100 and APOB48. Now this APOB100 it is related with the LDL and VLDL. It is responsible for binding over the LDL receptor. The molecular weight is highest among apolipoprotein that is 5,50,000 Dalton and it is also exclusively produced by the liver only. Now one more that is APOB48 that is found over the chylomicron. You have to remember the difference between APOB100 and APOB48 because the same type of molecule but size that is 48% from the APOB100 that is APOB48. Molecular weight is also less than 50% from this APOB100 to like 50,000 Dalton. APOB48 is produced from the intestine only. Now both of them APOB100 and B48 is produced by the same gene but mRNA undergoes the editing. So it is producing a APOB48 because a step a stop codon is generated in the middle of this mRNA and the size is reduced so 48% of the size of the B100 so it is called APOB48 now furthermore apolipoprotein that is APOC1 which is found over the chylomicron VLDL which is responsible for the activation of LCAT it is also produced by the liver now APOC2 is the most important for the metabolism of this chylomicron and VLDL. Chylomicron that is endo exogenous triacylglycerol containing molecule while VLDL which is containing endogenous triacylglycerol. And for the metabolism of this triacylglycerol of chylomicron and VLDL there is an activation of lipoprotein lipase is needed. And for that APOC2 is needed which is helping to metabolize this triacylglycerol over this chylomicron and VLDL. So that clearance of triacylglycerol from chylomicron and VLDL that is exclusively depending on this APOC2 which is also produced by the liver. Now one more that is APOC3 that is also found over the chylomicron and VLDL opposite to APOC2 it is inhibiting lipoprotein lipase. So it is anti-atherogenic in nature. Now furthermore that is APOE. So it is found over the chylomicron VLDL and LDL particularly this APOE that is rich in arginine amino acid. It is also working as a ligand for the hepatic uptake and it is produced by the liver. Now APOE has four different isoforms and out of that APOE4 is related with the senile dementia and Alzheimer's disease. This APOE is also associated with the lipoprotein glomerulopathy. So apart from this all this apolipoprotein one more that is APOLPA that you have to remember which is found attached to the B100 by disulfide bond and basically why it is important because it is impairing fibrinolysis in our body and so it will 
very atherogenic or highly atherogenic inside of our body so it is very dangerous molecule when the level of lpa is elevated in our body it is found related with the myocardial infarction so you have to remember that lpa that is small a so this a that is small a while apo a that is capital a it is anti atherogenic while lpa that is highly atherogenic now lpa and apo a both are different it is most important point and you have to remember this lpa is also sometimes called a little rascal because it is related with the myocardial infarction in our body so that's all about importance of the apo lipoprotein in our body